Hello everyone and welcome to my very first Let's Play. I've never done it before, so yeah. Um, as you can see, I'll be playing Resident Evil Zero. Um, oh man, this stuff again. Gotta skip it. Uh, hurry up, come on. Okay, anyways, yeah. I'll be playing Resident Evil Zero. So, um, let's see. New game, yes. Um, and we'll be playing on hard, so yeah, let's begin. Zero. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockford Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Really? Hmm. Do you think so, too? Yeah. I do about it. should hold off for a while. But I wonder how those are. suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Agent failure! Emergency landing! and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up.
safety is shut. <clears throat> there is no turning back. That sucks. Okay. So yeah, this is the beginning of the game. Here's our main character, Rebecca Chambers. <clears throat> well, let's see. We have a handgun with 30 bullets. Um, our condition is fine, so we're not hurt at all. That's good. <clears throat> let's look at our map real quick. Uh, don't really have a map. We just have the room that we're in right now. Um, that red arrow is where we're at, and, yeah. Uh, so, that's, that's basically it. <clears throat> Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. Seats are stained red with blood. Um, something obviously happened here. Not good. <laughs> the door to the dining door, uh, wait. Dining car's locked. You can't get in. Okay. <clears throat> we find that key load later on. So we have to go look for it. Let's go look in this room. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that But as of Okay, this is our first fight. Um, kill this one first. Then kill these. Die. And there they go. All dead. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Um, they were, but they're zombies. And they come back to life. But now they're dead for good. Let's just reload. <coughs> no, sorry, my voice hurts, guys. Ugh. What's wrong with that? Okay, let's go through here. The rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Another room, let's go inside. Room 202. There doesn't seem to be anything we use. Okay. Ooh, our first file. Um, now I'm gonna read this, but if you don't want to listen to it, you can always just skip ahead. Or you can listen to it if you like. So here we go. Passenger's Diary. July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups, with us in the initial group, assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW Type Y-139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with Type Y-139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean T-virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapus. This lab, we are in, this lab, we are going to. Were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June 19th. The day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The raccoon city newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murder in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is. No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes through smoothly. Okay. Took the passenger's diary. Good. Okay, there's also this dead body in the bed. This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. So he was obviously killed by the leeches. And just like everyone else on this train. Then they got turned to zombies. Oh, and here's the ink ribbon. Um, ink ribbons are used to save in, in the Resident Evil games, if you don't know. And, uh, yeah, this one only gives one, but usually you get two or three. Uh, nothing else there. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Okay, that's all there is in here. So let's go to the next room. Um, room 103, I guess. Is that 102? I can't remember. Let's see what room it is. 104, maybe? 20. Um, 201, I think. 
<laughs> um, this is our first save spot. So, yay, we can find the save. Oh, and our first green herb. Um, green herbs heal you a little. Like, if I was hurt just a bit, it would heal. It would heal somehow. So, we'll definitely be taking that. That would be very useful. Um, here's another ink ribbon. So, we'll be taking that. We should have three now. Four. Okay, yeah, they usually give you three. Okay. Um, and we got another file, so let's read it. Investigation orders. Stained with blood. Some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arclay Mountains lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down something years ago. Now we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facility. The first investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders remain. Remain. William Birkin and ourselves go. Uh, Gato unit. And the rest is torn and unreadable. So yeah, you can barely read that. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, so we filed the investigation orders. <laughs> Should we save it yet? Uh, let's see. Nah. Well, yeah. Might as well save it. Ooh, now which one to save over? I guess this one. Excuse me. Same place as the other one, we just saved more. Interesting. Okay, um, so now we gotta leave this here. I mean, we could take it with us, but the only time you use an ink ribbon is when you're in a safe spot, so I might as well sleep in here. So yeah, let's go out now. With rain outside. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. Okay. It's locked and can't be opened. The door reads conductor's office. Okay. Oh, here. No, here's another door. It's locked. Uh, not very descriptive. But if we read this, tell us more. There's a card reader here. It looks like the door will open if you have the right card. Okay, so we don't have that right now. Okay, and now there's a dead body, and it has something right there it has something in, in its hand but um after once you pick that up there's a um not a really long cutscene but there's a cutscene that's longer than it'll be longer than i have time to record so yeah i guess i'll see you in the next part bye